Hey y'all. because I won't be on later on um so what I was trying to say I lost my train of thought fuck um do all signs I'm gonna get this get it out the way um is that definitely my family so I will not be on later and I don't know if I'm gonna be on tomorrow so I'm gonna just try to get it done now um somebody write uh I'm gonna do backwards let's see if I know I'm backwards somebody write Pisces do me a favor we ready to go all right, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Damn, you do that all the time. No, I'm ready to go do something. Um, um, bring me some french fries. Huh. No, it's no, no. Every time I ask you something, it's always a fucking issue. Remember, remember you, you made me pay for my own. Why? Well, of course, you're going to pay for your fucking own. And technically, it's me paying for it. Should I give you a fucking paycheck every week? Yeah, but Turn around, is that a tick on you? Where? Turn around, Stop. turn around. Stop. Come on. I can't see. Turn around. Where you at? Oh, that's Lynn. Oh. Go give me some french fries. Mom, oh, No, I'm so serious. What are you doing? He working. What the fuck is you doing? Ready, ready, don't say stop playing with me. I don't want no um, fries with no damn Taco Bell. Go to the next door. What next door? The little burger spot, whatever it's called. Um, it's called. um, Art? yeah. I don't want no, not no damn Taco Bell. And come right back, D. I'm not playing. You like how I talk to him? He's on my fucking nerves. You think he's my fucking brother? That's the problem. All right. Yeah, we're doing it backwards. And we're going to do the good stuff coming to y'all. So let's get started because I got to hurry up. So I go to my grandmother's house and I got to be ready by the time my father comes. What good stuff is coming to Pisces for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Pisces in the month of July? Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Pisces in the month of July? Give me two more cards. One more card. What good stuff is coming to Pisces in the month of July? in reverse some of y'all okay some of y'all may walk away from her job or whatever lose a job but don't worry don't get scared okay because with the three of wands it's like y'all manifesting something even better um so whatever you're manifesting is going to come to fruition also some of y'all may decide to sever ties in a business partnership with somebody um Yeah, that's right. Aquarius would be next because we're going backwards. Um, 
So yeah, some of y'all may decide to sever a business partnership with somebody and just do the business on your own or start a whole different business. Um, but whatever it is, whatever you're manifesting, you have good, a lot of good things coming in, like your manifestations coming in, like you're ready to build up your confidence. Y'all are ready to travel. Um, whatever decisions you make, you're going to be happy with it. Like y'all have a lot of success coming in for pinnacles. You're going to get better, better with your money management. You're going to be budgeting. You're going to be saving money. Some of y'all may even treat yourself to something nice. Page of wands, y'all got some sort of good news coming in. I don't know if that's in love, career, both, whatever. You have good news coming in. No, we're going backwards. So the, so the next person who write the next sign that we do, can you make sure you state that we're going backwards? Um, but yeah, y'all have good news coming in. Y'all, month of July, y'all might uh, get your back broken in. Y'all might be bending somebody over on a balcony or getting bent over on a balcony. This is a very passionate card. If you've been waiting on a message from somebody, somebody's going to reach out to you. Um, some of y'all may realize what you're finally meant to do, like what type of path you're supposed to be on. So like some of y'all are supposed to be like a motivational speaker, an athlete, um, or some of y'all may meet an athlete and start dating them. Um, some of y'all may start going to church. I don't know. Some of y'all may be wanting to become a preacher. I don't fucking know. Spirit, tell me about the three of pentacles in reverse. Why is the three of Ace of Cups? What I tell you? Something's ending and something new is beginning. Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all may break up with somebody, walk away from something. I don't know. But Ace of Cups, you have love coming in. Or if you already broken up with this person, some of y'all may reconcile with this person. Some of y'all, um, pregnancy is in the air. So some of y'all may have a baby. But um, some of y'all going to be celebrating something in the month of July. Some of y'all going to find out that you're pregnant or you got somebody pregnant. Spirit, tell me about the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? But you have new beginnings and love coming in July. Tell me about the three of wands. Lovers in reverse. So be careful. Like if you reconnect with someone, be careful not to pour more love into them than they're pouring into you. Hey, Shira. Um, some of y'all may be manifesting for your person to leave a third party. And I feel like that's going to happen for some of you. Spirit, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles? What I tell you, Empress, some of y'all getting pregnant or getting somebody pregnant. This is a high fertility card. Um, also, some of y'all may be ready to start a new business, and I said that too. Some of y'all may be ready to sever ties in a business partnership and start your own business. But whatever you do, whether it's a new business, a new job, you're going to be very abundant. You're going to be very successful. Um, some of y'all may be meant to do something in the beauty industry. Um, people, he said you're already knocked up. Yeah, this, well, this girl. Oh, yeah, you are Pisces. Um, somebody loves how nurturing you are. People are going to like be drawn to you, find you very beautiful, very attractive. Somebody thinks that you're a good parent. I was ready to say mother, but you could reverse the roles. Um, we're talking about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? <clears throat> Temperance. Somebody wants to reconcile with y'all. And if this is not somebody from your past, um, then you have a great relationship coming. And it's going to be built on, like, trust. Heal. Like, this person's going to come heal. Let, let me just say that. But for a lot of y'all, it is a past person. Because page of wands is typically somebody you already slept with before. <clears throat> um, Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Pisces for the good things coming to them in July? Final likely outcome for Pisces. Queen of Cups. Self-love. Pouring more love into yourself. Building up your self-confidence. Um, some of y'all becoming a mother or mending a relationship with your mother. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Will of fortune, luck on your side, experiencing a burst of good luck. Soulmate, meeting your soulmate or reconnecting with a soulmate. Starting a new job, getting a promotion, starting or expanding a business. Tell me about the will of fortune. So we're going to clarify the will of fortune. Five of pentacles. Y'all leaving somebody. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Clarify. 
justice card. If somebody abandons you, rejected you, they want to make things right with you. They're coming back. They want to balance out the scales. Um, if some of y'all is like in trouble with the IRS or something like that, it's going to end up working out in your favor. I don't know why I just got that. That sounds very specific. Tell me about the justice card. Why is the justice card? Some of y'all going to find out the truth about something. Um, three of cups in reverse. Somebody is getting out of a third party situation. Some of y'all going to release yourself from a third party situation or your person is leaving a third party. Spirit, give me one final message for the good things that's coming to Pisces. Some of y'all might be messing with a cancer because I was ready to say cancer. Um, hmm. Clarify the star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse here? Tower in reverse. Thank you. Somebody is resisting um, letting you go. They don't want to let you go. But some of y'all are losing hope. But it's going to happen when you least expect it with that will of fortune. It's going to happen in divine timing. Somebody is like, no, we're going to fix this. Okay, we're going to fix this. Y'all may feel like y'all going through some sort of tower moment. Like it's not going to get better, but it is going to get better. So don't give up hope. Like I said, it's going to happen when at least expect it um, with that will of fortune. So I just got off the phone. Oh my God, I just got off the phone with the IRS. See, I be fucking knowing. Bitch, I'm psychic. And I'm nothing in these cars saying I'm about IRS, but you know, I be knowing. Um, somebody write Aquarius. job offer from the IRS. See, bitch, I really be knowing. I'm really psychic. Y'all cannot ever tell me that I'm not. Like, I'm really fucking psychic. Yeah, I'm going backwards, y'all. Um, Because I be feeling bad that when I do these Pisces and Aquarius and Capricorn, they, they gotta wait two hours. <laughs> um, Spirit, what good stuff is coming to Aquarius for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to... Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Aquarius for the month of July? Two more cards. What good stuff? God damn, they just flying out. Hold on. Give me one more card. What good? You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. Um. Hmm. decide okay some of y'all are gonna take a step back and i really feel like some of y'all already going like this healing journey or y'all may start going to church or therapy or talking to like some sort of spiritual advisor and you're gonna start to realize like look there are certain relationships there are certain people in my life that i need to cut out they don't wish me well they're not helping me grow in life they're not adding happiness to my life they're not doing shit um so i feel like some of y'all, or y'all gonna see people who they are. And I feel like you know you're gonna, you're about to end some things. Or maybe something already ended, or somebody ended something with you. But it's like you're stressing out about it because it's like you don't see the silver lining that's about to come for you. But guess what? You got the world card. You have big changes about to happen in your life. New jobs, promotions, traveling places you never traveled. Some of y'all might get pregnant, new relationships. Like, the world is about to be in your hands. Is that spiritual advisor you? I have a reading with you on the eighth. Hey, it may be. Um, but you're ready to feel whole. You're very ready to feel complete. You're ready to feel fulfilled. Spirit, tell me about the higher fan. Why is the higher fan here? 
Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're letting somebody go. You're starting to set boundaries with people. You're realizing that somebody is unreliable. Somebody is not trustworthy. And you don't want people like that in your energy anymore. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Things are going to start to speed up for you. Once you let this person go, whether that's mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, it doesn't matter. Once you let that go... Things are going to start to speed up for you in your love life. And probably even in your um, career and finances as well. Spirit, tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords? God, what the fuck? Hold on, I'm not taking all these cards. Hold up. Spirit, tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Clarify. Eight of pentacles. Some of y'all are stressed out about work. I don't know. Some of y'all are unemployed or you feel like you're not growing at your job. But you need to understand. First of all, you need to learn patience. Because even on the card, the top of the card, it says patience. But y'all are ready to build something. Y'all are really ready to see success. But understand that success comes with hard work. Okay? You can't just manifest something, pray for something, but you don't put the work in. So many of you are ready to be really busy. So stop stressing. Because I see some of y'all are up at night, y'all not sleeping, y'all experiencing anxiety. But once you put that work in, you're going to see and experience great success. Spirit, tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Lover's card. I'm telling you, you're going to meet a new lover. You got a soulmate coming in. Spirit, tell me about this lover's card. Four of Wands. Bitch, y'all got a relationship coming in. My 11-11 card, you're going to start sending 11-11. Some of y'all may even buy a new home or move somewhere, move in with this lover. Y'all got celebrations coming up, um, weddings. Some of y'all may be like hanging more with your family. Some of y'all might be having a family reunion. I don't know. But some of y'all may reunite with somebody, but for the most part... Y'all gonna meet a new lover and it's gonna be soulmate energy. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Damn, hold on. Ugh. Three of Pentacles. Y'all about to build something. Y'all about to be in a relationship. But also, some of y'all need to go back to school. Some of y'all need to further your education because it's gonna make you a lot of money in the long run. Some of y'all may go into a business partnership with somebody. You have sun card at the bottom of the deck, the most positive and happiest card in the deck. Abundance, prosperity, love, relationships, all of that. So what is the final likely outcome for Aquarius for the good things coming to them? Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Whatever you're praying for, whatever you've been dreaming about is coming. I told you, you're ready to feel so fulfilled, Okay. Pay attention to your dreams. You have success, abundance. You already have a, a boost in your self-esteem. Some of y'all may be meant to do something on social media. You're ready to get recognition for something. I just got accepted into nursing school. Congratulations. Spirit, tell me about the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Share your card and pool card. Some of y'all might buy a new car. Some of y'all, once again, going to travel somewhere. Whatever issues are going or obstacles you feel like you've been facing lately, you're going to overcome them. You have new beginnings coming in in so many different areas of your life. I love this reading. And then, to put the icing on the cake, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, that's y'all energy. That's confirmation. Like, this is for you. I love this for y'all. I love this for y'all. Get out of your head. Stop stressing. Let go of what no longer serves you. And welcome in all this positivity that God is trying to send your way. All right, what's next? Capricorn. Somebody write Capricorn. What is going on? Oh, shit, this wasting. Hold on, y'all. Hey, love, I just sent you screenshots for a Spanish lesson. Thank you, Spain. <sighs> no, I'm going backwards. I haven't done cancer yet. Oh, you're not getting none of this. Girl. Hold on, 
hold on, y'all, because it's 2 30 and this I haven't eaten nothing all day. Do you want you hungry? Did somebody break Capricorn yet? Or am I tripping? Can somebody break Capricorn? <laughs> but make sure y'all put it backwards so people can know. Why am I here? I've been around. I've been around the world. How'd that go? That's that bad boy song. Um... Mace like, mm -mm, it ain't what Mace do. Got a lot of, that I love to replace you. Something behind, never mind that. Niggas talk slick. I don't know what that song about, but Earth Signs, I mean, not Earth Signs, Capricorn, do what you wish with that song. Follower from India. I can't wait to get to India. When I be checking my analytics, like, I get so much support from India. Wait till I come and visit. You gonna go India with me? Would you? I don't know how long that flight is. Quick, good a mugger. Come to Nigeria. I would love, 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 love to come to Nigeria. So I want to go. Okay, so I said that I want to do East Africa. I did North Africa. I said I wanted to do East Africa first and then West Africa. I definitely want to make it back to Europe because I do love Europe. Um, there's so many places I want to travel. Oh, yeah. If y'all going to book spell work, book it now because it's literally filling up. And I'm going on vacation the 19th through the 22nd, I think. So, y'all better get it in now because I'm trying to get everything completed by the end of this week. And it's crazy. It filled up and I haven't even announced the shit yet. Would your back hurt? Mm -mm. I missed my whole mouth. Yeah, I'm going on my honeymoon. <laughs> okay. Spirit, what good stuff is coming to Capricorns for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Capricorns for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Capricorn? For the month of July. What does that is coming to? Not Nina. <laughs> Give me two more cards. What does that is coming to Capricorn for the month of July? One more card. What good stuff is coming to Capricorn for the month of July? Okay. Hmm. I don't know if. Let me see something. Spirit, I'm about to start in reverse. Why is the story in reverse here? Okay. All right, listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Nova. Sorry, Saint. Um, Good stuff coming in July. Capricorn. Star card in reverse. Some of y'all are losing hope about something. Some of y'all may be trying to, like, not heal when you know you need to fucking heal. But here's the thing. Y'all are losing hope in somebody changing. Y'all are losing hope in reconciling with someone. But the thing is, is clarified by the seven of swords in reverse. Seven of swords in reverse lets me know that somebody is like, listen, I don't want to play games anymore. I don't want to lie to you anymore. Um, somebody might actually want to confess, confess something to you. Some of y'all could be dealing with Aquarius because 
these both are Aquarius cards, so heavy Aquarius. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be, but yeah, Aquarius. Mm, I said Aquarius. Yes, yeah, y'all definitely dealing with Aquarius. Um, <laughs> somebody is just like, look, can we just turn over a new leaf? Can can we just fix this? Like literally, just fix this. And saying, I just texted and told him I lost hope. Oh, and then you had the Temperance card. So Temperance card represents balance. Like you're gonna get balance restored in your life or your relationship. Um, it's gonna be a lot of healing taking place. Somebody feels like you're their soulmate. Y'all gonna learn to compromise. Temperance is a slow moving energy and it represents patience, okay? Nothing good happens overnight. I mean, sometimes it does, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, for some of you, somebody wants your forgiveness and they're like, we can work through this. Like, just be patient with me. Page of Cups, if you're waiting on a certain message from somebody, somebody is going to send you a message. It could be a heartfelt message. It can be an apology. So, but some of y'all's psychic abilities are going to increase in the month of um, July. Um, somebody may tell you they got a crush on you in the month of July. Queen of Pentacles is y'all energy. Your money going to be doing good in the month of July. Some of y'all might get a new job. Some of y'all may get a pay raise, like, to the point, like, if you feel like you were struggling, you'll be making enough money so that you can take care of yourself and maybe somebody else or your family, your kids or whoever. I don't know. Y'all are going to be, like, abundant. You're going to be feeling abundant. Y'all are going to get to the point where y'all may start to be more selective about who you date because things in your career is going to start to look up for you. And if it's not July... I feel like, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, Virgo season. So, this could even take place between July or Virgo season. Spirit, tell me about the temperance card. What? Moon card. Somebody has deeper feelings for you than they let on. Somebody feels very drawn to you. Somebody watches you on social media. Hmm. Spirit, tell me Tell me about this page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Ten of swords. Yeah, whoever this is that maybe you ended things with or they ended things with you or maybe you felt like somebody betrayed you, they're nine times out of ten is going to be the one that's going to send you a message. Tell me about the queen of pentacles. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Clarify the queen of pentacles spirit. Three of cups. Celebration. Y'all gonna get a have a significant increase in your finances. This represents good fortune and success. Um, some of y'all may get invited to a party, a celebration, or some of y'all may be getting honored for something. Somebody wants to reunite with you. Um, some of y'all may reunite with a friend. You may get a friendship back. Um, or you may meet somebody new while you're out at a celebration or something like that. Some of y'all gonna get invited to a baby shower. It may be y'all fucking baby shower. I don't know. Um, somebody is hoping to run into you in the month of July while you're out and about. Spirit, tell me about this moon card. Why is it? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like somebody doesn't appreciate you and they know that. They're well aware of that. Um, and I feel like they want to fix it. Talk about the page of pentacles in reverse. Four of swords. Some of y'all are going to get more rest in the month of July. Um, was invited to a baby shower in August. Some of y'all going to be doing a lot of meditating. Some of y'all going to be doing a lot of healing. Some of y'all may have surgery and have to heal from surgery in the month of July. Um... What is the final likely outcome for Capricorns? Five of Swords in reverse. If you've been sabotaging, like, I don't know, your career or any fucking thing, it doesn't matter. Y'all gonna stop sabotaging. Um, somebody also wants to find a peaceful resolution between the two of you. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody is tired of playing games. Somebody is tired of sabotaging y'all connection. My brother getting knee surgery tomorrow. Okay. He's been our prayers. Spirit, tell me about the five of swords in reverse. Tell me about strength card. 
Y'all gotta just find the strength to let go of any self-doubt, any insecurities. Um, some of y'all may find the strength to walk away from somebody and land somebody new. Spirit, tell me about this shrimp card. Some of y'all gonna get more discipline when it comes to your career as well. Tell me about the shrimp card. Why is it? Death and the Seven of Cups. You already have a lot of options, but one of these options you're gonna decide to let go. I literally just said you're gonna walk away from somebody. You already have a lot of options in love and career, but like I said, one of them you're gonna have to let go of. Spirit, tell me about the Death and the Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands. Listen, y'all, once again, I can't stress it. Y'all already have a lot of fucking options. People are going to find you very, like highly desirable. People look at you as someone who um, is very attractive, um, sexual, powerful, spiritual, loyal, a kind-hearted person. Spirit, give me one final message for Capricorn for the good things coming to them in July. One final message. Nine of Wands, you're resilient. You're not giving up. You're going to persevere through some shit. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all going to go therapy. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you. Somebody write Sagittarius, please. I love freezing my water. Hearing that song, May Stu, May Stu Dane with May Stu. Got a lot of people that I love to replace you. Yeah, I just said you're gonna have options. So it was it, like, so whoever you fucking with, if your person not doing right, it's basically saying like you're gonna have a lot of people that could take their place. Oh, I need you to put something together for me too, please. I need you to put this clothing rack together. I have no space to put my clothes. And it's like giving me really bad anxiety. Like, I have got to do something with these clothes. a new deck. I need to order a new deck because this is just Hey girl. Oh yeah, when you want more knees, we can do it this week in between my readings. This is going to be easier to teach you. Yeah, so you can be doing my weekly readings. Because I've been needing readings now. I sent you for love, but I didn't see on PayPal. PayPal? Girl, why would you do that without confirming to me? With me? Um, let's see. What are we doing, Sagittarius? Spirit, what good things are coming to... Uh, for, uh, blah, blah, blah. What good things are coming to Sagittarius for the month of July? What good things are coming to Sagittarius for the month? Of Three more cards. What good things are coming for? To, uh, what the fuck? Why am I getting tongue tied for Sagittarius? Is it something y'all want to say to somebody but y'all can't find the words? Spirit. What? Hold the fuck up. Is it hot in here to you? How oh, are right. 
Spirit, give me three more cards. What good things are coming to Sagittarius in the month of July? What good things are coming to Sagittarius? And then, ooh, ooh, that, that wanna come out. Give me two more cards. What good things are coming? relationship coming if y'all already in a relationship it's about to go to the next level some of y'all may get a mentor and need to become a mentor to somebody six of wands some of y'all may go viral on social media this represents victory and success um y'all got good news coming in abundance coming in um y'all may meet somebody of high status or famous or um somebody popular in their community you already get a lot of recognition some of y'all like about to be a celebrity in your own right. There's gonna be somebody that's gonna place y'all on a pedestal. You got soulmate energy coming in. Some of y'all may have um two people to choose from. King of Pentacles. Y'all got somebody with money coming in. Or y'all already dealing with this person. They got that big. <laughs> they got that big. Y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, or Leo. Spirit, something about the higher fan. Why is the higher fan here? Clarify the higher fan. What? Oh my God. Spirit, something about. God damn it. Six of Pentacles in reverse. If somebody was holding back from you because they were attached to somebody else and they felt like they couldn't leave that person because either something about finances, either that person was financially dependent on them or they didn't want to be taken down for child support or something with finances. I don't know. They don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> they going, they like, I'm going to figure it out. Like, I need you in my life. Spirit, tell me about the six of wands. Why is the six of wands here? Clarify the six of wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse. If somebody made you feel rejected, left you out in the cold, they're coming back. Because one, if you post on social media, they be seeing all that attention you be getting. They don't like it. They don't like it. But nevertheless, they about to start giving your ass some attention, okay? Heavy Taurus energy here. Tell me about the Lover's card. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If you were in a third party situation with somebody, they're even getting a divorce or breaking up with somebody. I'm telling you right now. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Or this is y'all. Y'all might be leaving somebody for somebody new. Because I'm telling you with that Six of Wands, y'all about to have options. So we're talking about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this King of Pentacles is wants a relationship with you. Heavy Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody is really breaking up with somebody. I'm telling you right now. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for the good stuff that's coming to Sagittarius in the month of July? Justice. Somebody is getting a divorce. Somebody is getting a divorce. Mm. You about to find the truth out about something. Tell me about the justice card. Clarify the justice. Two of cups and a high priestess. It's telling you to use your intuition because about something. Because with the two of cups, somebody home is unhappy. There's an unhappy couple. So... If you single and you know you mess with somebody that got you on the third party, I don't believe the hype. Because them and that third party is not happy. Okay? And your intuition is already telling you this. If this is you and you're in a relationship, I feel like you're going to leave this person. And um, you want to move on to something better. So what is the final likely outcome for Sagittarius for the good stuff coming in July? Final likely outcome for Sagittarius for the good stuff coming in July. 
Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all are ready to build on the success you already have. Some of y'all may be ready to collaborate with somebody on a business. Um, somebody wants to build with you in a relationship. They want to take things slow and get to know each other. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. King of Cups. This is somebody going, who is going to love the fuck out of you. I mean, love you unconditionally. Love your dirty jaws. Tell me about the King of Cups. Some of, for some of y'all, y'all may run into somebody that's going to give you some really great advice and you should take it. Empress, some of y'all going to get pregnant or get somebody pregnant. But y'all definitely have a stable relationship coming to you. Somebody holds you in high regard. Somebody looks at you as somebody is very kind and nurturing. Some of y'all are ready to start a business or get a new job. But y'all have a lot of money coming in as well. A lot of success. Um, y'all already focus more on your physical appearance too. Like... I don't know, like, y'all already have some sort of glow up. But, and look, y'all at the bottom of the deck, night of wands, y'all already start taking risks, living y'all life. Um, somebody write Scorpio. And I'll um, check my DMs later today. Um, thank you, Sylvia, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Double your money doing Spanish reading. Child, I cannot wait. I don't even care about the reading. I just want to talk to y'all in Spanish. I'm so sick of the fucking Americans. I'm not playing. Oh, yeah. My name is Dove. suggestions for Spanish and what I need to write and what I need to do and what apps I need to use. They are really helpful on that um, platform. I'm not going to lie. All my good Spanish folks over there, they is so helpful. But 
But y'all hoes is helpful too. So I gotta give y'all y'all flowers too. I'll help you, but I'm Puerto Rican. Uh-uh, I don't want no Puerto Rican helping me because y'all don't really be knowing real Spanish. I don't know what type of Spanish y'all be speaking. Y'all be speaking English, Spanish, or some shit. I don't fucking know. Yes, but you need to start Spanish. I can tell you all the apps that I use. What is it? SpanishDictionary.com. That's one of my favorites. I like that better than Duolingo. You can get a tutor off of, um, girl, why wouldn't the subscribers get a read Um, you can get a tutor off of, is it Planoli? I think that's what I got my tutor from. All right, let's get started. Cause I gotta hurry up. I gotta go pay my respects. I gotta go to my grandmother's. Um, Spirit, what good stuff is coming to Scorpio? Damn, hold up. Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Scorpios? What? This is ghetto. <laughs> Give me two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Scorpios in the month of July? Crazy, I'm a Leo too, and also in a span. Leo's is the shit. Leo's gonna find something to fuck to do. We don't know how to sit still and just not do nothing. So here, give me two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Scorpios for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Scorpios for the month of July? One more. Mm. Ooh, some of y'all gonna start saying 888. Which is a good number that represents abundance. Um, but anywho. I don't know if this is good or bad. Take it however you want. <laughs> but the month of July, some of y'all might do anything for some money. I don't know. Take that however it resonates. Some of y'all might be into some illegal activities. Some of y'all, I don't, I don't know what y'all gonna do. And I really don't care because it's none of my business. But y'all gonna figure some shit out. Uh, some of y'all gonna start messing with somebody in the streets or you already, I don't know, and y'all gonna end up fucking them. I don't know if that's good, but we're doing good things, so I'm gonna read it as that's good. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, there is somebody that is gonna come around that you like, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to see the red flags. Don't send it to me. I just want to get my back cracked, and that's that. <sighs> Strength card. Um... For some reason, even though this, I don't know. Okay, let me not say that. Um, Shrim card, y'all are going to build up your self-confidence. I will say that. Um, y'all are going to persevere through some shit if you're going through something. Y'all are going to get more discipline when it comes to your career. Eight of swords in reverse. Um, y'all are going to stop overthinking. You're not going to be in your head anymore. If you felt trapped in a situation, you're not going to feel trapped anymore. Spirit, tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in Three of Swords? What? Tell me about this Three of Swords. You know what I think is going to happen? Whoever this King of Pentacles is that could have possibly broke y'all heart, y'all may fuck them one last time and then just walk away from them altogether. Like, y'all be like, what am I doing? Like, all right. You gave me my last tune up. I'm done. And you're going to feel good about your decision. Like, you're not going to second guess it. You're going to be like, I know what it is. I see them for who they are. Like, I'm good. But you want to sleep with them one last time before you <laughs> before you finally walk away. Spirit, tell me about the high priestess in reverse. Why is the high priest? Hermit in reverse. Okay, it's like you have a really powerful spiritual connection with, with somebody. But y'all... It's like blocking it for some reason. It's it's weird. I, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, if you if you get it, you get it. But if y'all have been isolating yourself, not really going out, like kind of down and depressed, or just trying to figure out life altogether, you already come out of that. Y'all ready to rejoin the world again? Spirit, I'm here. I'm bringing sexy back. Oh. 
Spirit, tell me about the shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? Ace of Pentacles. You're already transitioning. So I told you y'all about to get disciplined about when it comes to your career. You about to say, fuck love, I'm tired of trying. Yeah, that song. Mm -hmm. um, Ace of Pentacles. You're ready to transition to a new way of making money. Okay? You are about to receive some sort of financial opportunities come your way. Um, you're about to have some new beginnings. You're about to feel really secure, abundant. Your financial manifestations are about to start coming in. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. Will of Fortune. Good luck is on your side. Something's going to happen when you least expect it. You're going to meet a new lover. Um, your business is going to take off. You may get that job. You've been wanting that promotion. Um, you're not going to be making the same fucking mistakes no more. That's why I said you're going to fuck them and be done with them. That's what you're going to do. Fuck them and be done with them. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Scorpios for the good stuff coming in July? Bitch. Sun card. The most happiest and positive card in the deck. Hey, Chanel. Um, abundance, prosperity, you getting your freedom back. Yeah, you let somebody go and get your freedom back. Um, new love options, celebrations. Spirit, tell me about the sun card. Why is the sun card here? Clarify the sun card. Eight of Cups and Magician. Some of y'all are manifesting to kick some sort of addiction and that's going to happen. Some of y'all are manifesting to let somebody go. You know how like you so in love with somebody but they keep breaking your fucking heart. So sometimes you just got to pray to God like, please God, let me stop loving this man or this woman. Some of y'all are doing that and y'all going to do a cord cutting and it's going to work. Um, now for some of you, somebody may be manifesting that you don't walk away from them, that you come back to them. So we are talking about the Eight of Cups and the Magician. Why is the Eight of Cups and the Magician here? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody feels like you're their possession. They don't want to let you go. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify. Emperor. Somebody sees you as marriage material. This could be a new lover. It doesn't matter, but I do feel like y'all going to walk away from something and go into something better. And even if that something better ends up being that old person just in a more healed or newer energy. Um, Spirit, give me one final message for Scorpio for the good stuff coming to them in July. Ace of Swords, successful breakthrough. Um, new ideas, new plans. I'm telling y'all, y'all planning something for your career for one. But communication, somebody is going to want to have some sort of conversation with you within a week or two. This could be a new lover. This could be an old lover. This could be a friend. I don't fucking know who it is, but it's somebody. But um, it's a conversation that you've been waiting on. And look, you got the embers at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all already be in a relationship, married or something. All right, that's what I have, Scorpio. Somebody write Libra. How many signs did I do? Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, 
Scorpio, we wouldn't shit. We ain't halfway through. Virgo, we'll put out halfway through. What good stuff is coming to Libras for the month of July? What good stuff is coming? Three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Libras for the month of July? Two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Libra for the month of July? more card. What good stuff is coming to Libra for the month of July? Lord. Spirit, give me one more card. What good stuff is coming to Libra for the month of July? Okay, what is this trying to say? Scared of something. I don't fucking know. And I know this is supposed to be good stuff, but I don't know. It's like y'all scared of the unknown. Um, you're scared to take some sort of risk. But here's the thing. You have the Empress here. So Empress, this is an amazing card to get. It represents um, healing, love, abundance, fertility. So it's like you have so many amazing things coming in. Stop being scared. Stop holding yourself back. I'm scared taking my baby daddy to court and it won't work out. Why won't it work out? What you saying for child support or he beat you? Never mind. Why would I say that out loud? <laughs> Why do I say stuff that I think? Okay, never mind. I forget what I said. Anywho, um, some of y'all know that there's something that you need to release because it's starting to be a burden to you. And once you release that, I feel like you're going to be like, I could breathe again. Um, Eight of Pentacles, you're about to be extremely busy this month. So work is going to pick up. Um, you're building upon your success. It's like you're building something. You're putting a lot of effort into something. And whatever you're building, just understand that you have to have patience. Spirit, tell me about the Fool in Reverse. Why is the Fool in Reverse here? Seven of Pentacles. You about to see your hard work pay off. Um, yes, some of y'all gonna get pregnant or get somebody pregnant. Heavy fertility issues. I mean, I said issues. Uh, energy here. Um, some of y'all invested in something. Like, if you got money saved up, some of y'all are taking that money to invest in a new business or to go back to school or to expand something. But it's something that y'all going to invest in that's going to make you more money. Um, so there's something about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Y'all have a lot of fucking abundance coming in, Libras. I mean, a lot of abundance. Some of y'all may have two people to choose from, and they're both going to be really great options. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Clarify the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Five of Pentacles in reverse. If y'all were going through any type of financial hardship, y'all coming out of that, I'm telling you, your money is going to get better. There's nothing to stress about because it's something that y'all going to release that's going to somehow, I don't know, help your money in some type of way. Some, If somebody left you out in the cold, I feel like they're coming back around in July. If you're unemployed, you're going to find a new job in July. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. Damn, y'all got Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Empress. Okay, I'm 
emotions. Um, heavy fire energy right here. There's somebody that either you want to build with or they want to build with you. It's somebody that you know you can have it all with with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, and when I say all, like the career, the money, the children, the house, the love, the marriage, like literally you can have it all. You just gotta be, you gotta stop being scared and take that leap of faith. Um, some of y'all already have a family, I'm telling you. Some of y'all already to start building a family. Cause some of y'all like you already come out of this financial hardship. You already focus on your career. Some of y'all get new jobs. It's something that y'all doing because you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and now the fucking Ten of Pentacles. Money is gonna be good. Like y'all have nothing to stress about for career. And as far as love, I feel like y'all ready to have options. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Libras for the good stuff that's coming in July? Hierophant, y'all are about to be in a relationship or marriage. Spirit, tell me about the Hierophant. Some of y'all already get, um, switch up your social groups as well. But here's the thing. God is trying to deliver all of this to you, but with the strength in reverse, it's like y'all lack confidence. Like you feel like you don't deserve this. And I say this all the time, you are what you attract. So if you are lacking confidence and you feeling insecure and you have all this fucking self-doubt, then you're not going to manifest this. This ain't going to be your fucking reading. Or you're going to attract somebody that's going to take full advantage of you. Tell me about the strength in reverse. Why is the strength in reverse here? Clarify the strength in reverse. World card. Listen, God is really trying to bless y'all. World card is another card. Like basically when you have it all, the success, you're achieving something. You feel fulfilled. You feel whole. Um, doing things you never did before. Traveling places you never traveled. Experiencing new people, new cultures, like new relationships, new jobs. New tax bracket. Magician at the bottom of the deck. Whatever you're manifesting can come in, but you got to build up your confidence and you got to know that you deserve it. Um, but yeah, that's what I have, Libras. Somebody write Virgo. Yes, I've cut off friends who weren't supportive. Child, story of my life. You're welcome. Oh God, they did have a good reading. Are you mad? Cause you, we all know you hate Libras. Get it. Virgo, Virgo, Virgos. Let's see what we have for the Virgos. Spirit, what good stuff is coming to Virgos for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Virgos for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Virgos for the month of July? Three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Virgos for the month of <laughs> July? 
two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Virgos for the month of July? Take that in reverse. One more card. What does that just come into? Okay, Virgos. Some of y'all, if you were confused about something, you're not confused anymore. Um, I feel like you're gonna make a decision about something. You're gonna gain some sort of clarity about something. Um, world in reverse, somebody doesn't want something to be over between you and them. Somebody wants to reconnect with y'all because you mean a lot. And they they're really, they they feel like you're disappointed in them. They're disappointed that you're disappointed in them. They don't like the way you look at them now. Um, seven of swords in reverse, somebody may want to confess something to you. Somebody wants to call a truth. Somebody does not want to lie to you. They don't want to deceive you. They don't want to be sneaky anymore. Or a pinnacle, somebody feels like you're their possession. But also, some of y'all are going to get better with managing your money. Some of y'all are going to learn to really budget. You may be dealing with somebody that's going to teach you about financial management. <clears throat> so here's something about the Seven of Cups in reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? Will of Fortune in the moon. I mean, Will of Fortune in reverse in the um, moon card. Oh, Lord. Something is about to happen that you don't see coming. And I mean, this is supposed to be good stuff. So there's ready to be an unwelcome change. But here's the thing. I feel like somebody is coming back in your life that you're not expecting to come back. And maybe they're going to come back at the wrong time, but they fucking coming back. I don't know. And to know who this is, this is somebody that... Um, could have been holding back from you, holding back their feelings from you, but something is coming back. Um, I don't know, because it's like lately you've been feeling, let me see something, hold on. So there's something about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Moon in the upright. Something about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Moon in the upright. Hang man. You, yeah, this is somebody you release or you know you need to release. Tower. Something is really ready. <laughs> I don't know, Virgo. Something y'all already have a tower moment in y'all life. I, I don't tell me about the tower card. Why is the tower card here? There. Emperor in reverse. Somebody, some of y'all baby father might be ready to return. Or give you some type of issue about something. I know this is supposed to be good stuff. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all want y'all baby fathers to return. I don't fucking know. Um, but it's something either with a baby father or your own father. Some of y'all may be ready to break up with somebody. Tell me about the... Tell me about the emperor in reverse. Sun in reverse. Yes, look. Some of y'all might be ready to break up with somebody. If some of some of y'all gonna get pregnant, but y'all gonna decide to get an abortion. All right, I'm not going no more into that because this is supposed to be good stuff, and this is going to something else. <sighs> Spirit, something about the world in reverse. What? Six of cups and three. Yup. Somebody from your past is returning. And this is somebody that you felt like was your soulmate, that you were deeply in love with, that you felt like you might have had a past life connection with. Y'all are really going to reconnect. You might run into this person out at a bar somewhere or a party, a gathering, a festival. I don't fucking know. And for some of you, this could be somebody you have kids with. If it's not, then this is another way you're going to know who it is is because... Maybe y'all, you were dealing with this person, but this person was dealing with like a baby mother or baby father and they couldn't quite be with you because they couldn't leave because of the kids, but they want to reconnect with you. Like you really mean the world to this person. They miss your friendship more than anything in the sex. Spirit, tell me about these seven of swords in reverse. Why is the seven of swords in reverse here? Page of cups in reverse. The thing is, you feel like they're fucking childish. You feel like they're emotionally immature. And you're like, mm, I don't know. Now all of a sudden you want to come back and tell the truth. Now all of a sudden you say you want to do right. 
Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? Clarify the Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. I don't know how the fuck this is good. <laughs> I might gotta give y'all another storyline. Um. Some of y'all are heartbroken because... Y'all feel trapped in a relationship that you're not really happy in. And it's like, you probably want to be with this other person. Tell me about this page of cups in reverse. That's too many cards. Tell me about the page of cups. Magician in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody you don't trust. Or you're just frustrated because shit is getting delayed. It's like you want this person, but something just keeps getting in the way. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for the good stuff that's coming to Virgos for the month of July? Ten of swords in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody feels like it's unfinished business. Tell me about the ten of swords in reverse. Queen of cups. This, this person genuinely loves you, and I feel like you love them too, low-key. Look, and the emperor tried to pop out baby mother. I told you something about a baby mother, baby father. And you guys, I get it. Not all of y'all have kids, but I, I don't know. Spirit, tell me about the, and it could have been somebody you blocked before. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Clarify the Queen. Eight of Wands in reverse. This could be somebody where it started off really fast. And then all of a sudden, like, the passion started to die out. The momentum slowed down. Um, somebody may be ready to return from travel. When they return from travel, they're going to want to talk to you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands, victory and success. Something good is coming out of this. Six of Wands is a hell of a card. Triumph, victory, success, good news, abundance, um, recognition. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands? Seven of Wands. What the fuck I just say? It could have been somebody you blocked and the Seven of Wands come out. That means somebody you blocked. I'm so psychic. <laughs> Somebody wants you to unblock them or at least talk to them. Open up the lines of communication. Tell me about the seven of wands or y'all just got to stand up for yourself. Stand your ground when they come back. Tell me about the seven of wands. Eight of pentacles. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Knight of swords. Somebody is willing to fight for this connection. Somebody might say, I want my family back. Bitch, why am I seeing fucking baby boy in my head? Jody, remember when Jody came home? He was like, this is the same bitch ass Jody that still up with his mama. Some of y'all with somebody else and your baby father gonna want you back. And then the other person gonna be like, you are a bum. You're a fucking deadbeat. I don't know. This, listen, this is found, sounding like this is specific for like one or two of y'all on here. I don't know. I don't know who this is for um i'm done virgo this was y'all have the messiest read all, at all today this was the messiest read i'm done i'm done i, I don't know what to tell y'all you know what i'm gonna pull from another deck because i just feel like okay i mean for some of y'all that's good because <laughs> some of y'all might want y'all baby pull it back or something i don't know but let me just pull one card from three cards from another deck. I'm not gonna do no clarifying. I'm just trying to get something else, but I gotta hurry up because I gotta read and start at four. Um it wasn't too much good for us, but baby, guess what? I I can't manipulate the cards. Okay, I tried. July just might not be y'all month, but for some of y'all that might be good. Some some people one day baby pull it back. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Spirit, what this stuff is coming to Virgo for the month of July? Give me one more card. Okay, no. It's the same storyline. I don't know what to tell y'all. And that's a whole different deck. Moving along to Leo. Somebody write Leo. I try. It's the same storyline. I can't make it up. I tried. 
Yeah, she should be listening to Free Rising. Okay, um... It's not, uh, I don't feel like it. All right, can somebody write, um, Leo, please? Because I gotta hurry up. on a weak diet with eating nothing but salads. <sighs> you eat salad? What? Only person in the world that I know don't eat salad is Cherie. Like no type of salad. That is so weird. Do you eat vegetables? Oh. But just not salad. That's so weird. That is so good. You get stuff in your salad? No, meaning like you can put a fruit in salad, like a like dressing. You can put uh, salmon. No. Let's go. Did I? Uh... Spirit, what good things are coming to Leo for the month of July? What good things are coming to Leo's for the month of July? How many cards? Right, that's too many cards. Oh, yeah, I'm not taking all these cards. The thing y'all come back, you only doing it because it's Leo's. <sighs> But those were some good cards, Leo. <laughs> Spirit, what good things are coming to Leo's for the month of July? Y'all showing up in y'all own reading, Queen of Wands. Y'all are such a diva. Three more cards. What good things are coming to Leo's for the month of July? What good things are coming to Leo's for the month of July? Two more cards. What good things are coming to Leo's for the month of July? One more card. All right, that's too many cards. Damn, those are even good. Give me one more card. What good things are coming to Leo for the month of July? Okay. <sighs> Queen of Wands, first card. Y'all showing up as yourself, which means y'all are ready to have options. Because everybody wants the Queen of Wands. Hold on, y'all. Um, y'all are ready to have options, okay? People are going to find you very attractive, very kind, very loyal, spiritual, sexual, sensual, like all of that. Um, as far as business, many of you, if you're not an entrepreneur, you need to be an entrepreneur, especially if you are mid to late August Leo, okay? Just saying. Um... Look, even the world, even Instagram just gave us a thumbs up. Um, some of y'all already be in the spotlight. Some of y'all may meet it. Uh, some of y'all may need to do something in the beauty industry or on social media. To a cops, you have somebody that is deeply in love with you. Okay, um, but I also feel like the feelings are mutual. Y'all may be in love with somebody as well. Um, this represented happy couples like that ideal couple. Um, why am I hearing my first teenage love affair? So it could be somebody y'all dated years ago. Or it could just feel like that type of love. Um, like you feel like a child again. But this is giving soulmate vibes. Um, somebody feels like nobody compares to you. 
Um, they feel like you bring just as much to the table as they do. Seven of Wands in reverse. This could be somebody that you're not talking to right now. This could be somebody that you block that they want you to unblock them or open up the lines of communication. Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody is sad. So maybe y'all broke up with somebody. Maybe, I don't know, some of y'all could possibly be having fertility issues. I don't know. But I feel like somebody is sad. Like, whoever you're not talking to right now, um, I don't know. They just feeling really vulnerable when it comes to you. Mm -hmm, that's clarified. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Clarify the Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Some of y'all ready to travel. Um, somebody, some of y'all might meet somebody new while y'all when y'all travel. Um, some of y'all might meet somebody on Fourth of July as well. Um, <laughs> something is gonna start off very fast and passionate. Some of y'all need to start an online business because it's going to be very successful. Um, if you're waiting on a message from somebody. You're going to hear from them within 8 to 10 days. Somebody may take you on a vacation. Something is about to pay off for you. If you've been waiting on some sort of news, it's about to come in. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody is in their feelings about you real bad. <laughs> That's not funny. Somebody is in their feelings about you real bad. Um, but I also feel like some of y'all, y'all give too much of yourself too soon to people. And what I mean by that, like, you know, Leos are very generous. We give, 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 give. And that's the problem. You're giving your heart away too fast to people. You need to just Here, tell me about these seven of wands in reverse. Why is the seven of wands in reverse here? Clarify the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of swords. Yeah, whoever this person is that you're not talking to, you feel like like this is somebody that lies, sneaky, was deceptive. Um, also, when it comes to your job, stop or business period, stop telling your business plans to your friends or whomever. Everybody that pretends is your friend is not your friend. Or everybody pretends that they got your best interest. They don't. Um, so you're talking about this Ace of Cups in, Ace of Cups in Reverse. Talking about this Ace of Cups in Reverse. Chariot card. Some of y'all may be ready to buy a new car. Some of y'all may go on a road trip. Um, but somebody is feeling like y'all can overcome whatever obstacles y'all are currently going through right now. Um, some of y'all already get even like really serious about your ambitions. Something about your career is about to take off. Spirit, tell me about these seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Some of y'all gonna start seeing seven, 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 which represents good luck. Um, tell me about the seven of swords. Page of cups. Somebody gonna send y'all a message, like a heartfelt message, maybe an apology. But Paige is eh. I still don't feel like they offer much. Some of y'all's psychic abilities are going to increase. Um, some of y'all are meant to be like a therapist or a psychiatrist or something like that. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for the good stuff that's coming to Leo's in the month of July? What is the final likely outcome for the good stuff that's coming to Leo's in the month of July? Ten of Cups. What did I say? Marriage, y'all. <laughs> a relationship. Emotional fulfillment. Happiness. A blended family. Long-term security. Stability. So we're talking about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? You're happily ever after. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Will of Fortune. Soulmate energy. Um, so we shouldn't give an air time to the Page of Cups person. I don't care for pages. Pages, mm, I don't really care for pages. Um, I mean, you can do what you wish, but I don't care for pages. And I wouldn't because whoever this Page of Cups is, is somebody that deceived you and deceptive and fucking lie like a rug. Um, but nonetheless, you have a soulmate coming in. 
It's gonna happen when you least expect it. It's like a faded encounter. I would start telling a whole story how I normally script, but I gotta read in at four o'clock, so I can't give y'all that. But y'all have good luck coming in. Y'all gonna start seeing 10, 10. So y'all gonna start seeing 10, 10. Some of y'all gonna start seeing 7, 7, 7. Um, tell me, y'all got good luck in your career and uh, love. Tell me about this Will of Fortune spirit. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Page of Pentacles in reverse and a high priestess. It's how you use your intuition about something. Something's about to happen that you don't see coming. Tell me about this page of pentacles in reverse. Why well, is the page of pentacles in reverse? Page of swords in reverse. Somebody is stalking y'all. But page of pentacles in reverse, this is somebody that you don't need to give your time to. Tell me about the page of swords in reverse. King of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse. Somebody is in their feelings about y'all. I'm telling you, and I said that at first. Somebody has been drinking over y'all. Um, somebody does not want to let you go. Somebody is tired of holding back. They, like, need y'all to fix this. But I'm telling y'all, y'all got new love coming in. So it's up to y'all who y'all going to choose to deal with. Something about the Four of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. World card. I'm telling y'all, y'all got a lot of good shit coming in. And I really believe y'all gonna meet somebody while traveling. Y'all gonna be reaching a lot of goals. Y'all gonna be feeling fulfilled. So give me one final message for the good stuff that's coming to Leo's in the month of July. One final message. Strengthen the two of pentacles. Y'all gonna have a choice to make between two people. But y'all confidence is gonna be through the roof. <laughs> Typical Leo. Um, Y'all going to get really disciplined when it comes to work and career. Um, You're going to be overcoming self-doubt, anxiety, all of that. Spirit, tell me about the strength in the two of pentacles. Nine of swords, ten of swords. Y'all letting something go. Y'all letting something go. All right, Leo, that's what I have for y'all. Somebody write cancer. the temperature outside because I'm about to turn that air on. send it to you. I'll send you her page. Because I can't tag her in here because she don't follow this page. And I don't... So it's not going to show up if I try to tag her. yesterday not having that air on i was freezing oh look leos i said i was gonna start seeing 777 and 77 was on the thing so what good stuff is coming to cancer for the month of july three more cards what good stuff is coming to cancer two more cards what good stuff is coming for cancer for the month of july Y'all gonna have to make some difficult decision in the month of July. I don't know what that is. Um, for some of you, it could be you have to choose between two people, or it could really be anything. 
It may be a stressful decision that y'all are going to have to make, but it's some sort of decision that y'all are going to have to make. And whatever that decision is, it's going to cause y'all to go into hermit mode, which basically means like y'all are going to disconnect. Okay, y'all going to go in this mood where you just don't want to be bothered. You just need to be by yourself because you need to figure some shit out. This is the time you're going to be doing some soul searching, some self-reflection. Um, some of y'all may get some sound advice from somebody. Um, or you may need to talk to a spiritual advisor or just somebody that you trust that can really give you some solid advice. Um, then you have the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands, okay, even if it feels like a challenge is coming your way, if this is y'all really showing up as the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands love a challenge. A Knight of Wands doesn't give a fuck. Like, he could get knocked down nine times. He's going to get up because he know that 10 times something going to work out for him. Um, then you have the Temperance card. Temperance represents balance. So you're going to eventually restore balance back into your life in the month of um, July. You're going to find your peace. Um, but understand... And, some of y'all need to start doing things in moderation, okay? Don't just like keep spending money or drinking or getting high. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. But whatever you're doing, you need to start doing it in moderation. Um, but I do feel like y'all going to be doing a lot of healing in the month of July. I think July is going to be like transformational for y'all. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Clarify the Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all have a decision to make about um, a relationship. Some of y'all are going to have a decision to make about um, responsibilities. So it's like if you taking care of like, I don't know, a family or something. I don't know. It's something about money and responsibilities you may have to make a decision about. Some of y'all might just got to choose yourself. Some of y'all might just got to be a little selfish and there's nothing wrong with that. Especially if you're trying to get to the Ten of Pentacles. Because how the fuck can you get to the Ten of Pentacles if everybody got their hand out and you spending money here, there, and everywhere else? No. Mm -mm, it doesn't work like that. Tell me about the Hermit card. Why is the Hermit card here? Clarify the Hermit. Fool, oh, shit. Fool in reverse. Some of y'all are scared of the unknown. Y'all just like... Y'all just feeling like shit ain't getting better. Um, you don't, you're not really trusting your judgment, but you need to. It's like you're resisting change. It's like, okay, here's the thing with the fool in reverse. If the fool was in the upright, it's like you're taking a mirror, look in this mirror and like, you know what? I know that I need to change this, that, and a third in order for my life to be better. But when it's in a reverse, it's like you're resisting making these necessary changes that you know that you need to make. So, like, if you're overspending or you're taking care of this person or that person and your money is fucked up, tell them no. No is a fucking complete sentence. You don't owe nobody no fucking explanation. Because how you going to get further in life if everybody got their hand out? So, it's some sort of change that y'all are just, like, resisting making. Tell me about the... So, you're talking about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? But I feel like y'all can get to that Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about that Knight of Wands spirit. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Devil card. Some of y'all are overindulging in something. Whether that's sex, drugs, spending, a person. I don't know. Some of y'all feel like somebody got some sort of power over y'all. Some of y'all got a sex addiction, a real bad sex addiction. And I'm not even joking. Some of y'all really do have a sex addiction. Um, some of y'all battling with y'all sexuality. Um, y'all may be addicted to somebody. Or somebody addicted to y'all. And somebody with real good sex. This is a weird reading. Tell me about the temperance. Why is the temperance here? Clarify the temperance. Nine of Wands in reverse. Once again, y'all are resisting making some sort of change in your life. Why? I don't get it. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. God is trying to give you this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Wands in reverse. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse. 
Y'all are just feeling defeated right now. I'm telling y'all, I feel like y'all got too much on y'all plate and y'all not making the necessary changes. There's somebody that y'all got to cut out. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be family. It could be a lover. I don't know who it is, but somebody is holding y'all back. And if you continue up with the bullshit, you ain't going to get nowhere in life. And I know I sound harsh, but it is what the fuck it is. Um, Ace of Swords is just like, in reverse, it's just like you having some sort of creative blockage. This is kind of feeling like fucking Virgo reading. Y'all are just unclear about something. Like, where y'all going and how to get there? Tell me about the full number. And I don't even think that is that y'all unclear about it. It's just like y'all scared to tell somebody fucking no. Tell me about the full in reverse. Why is the full in reverse here? Clarify the full in reverse. Four of wands. It's something about your home. Okay. I don't know. It's something about a home. And once again, something about family. Tell me about this four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Justice card. Somebody may be considering getting a divorce. Somebody could be locked up. Um, something is affecting a home. I don't know. I'm not getting too deep into this. This sounds real personal. Tell me about the devil card. Why is, this is just like Virgo's. Like, this sounds like a fucking personal read. Knight of Cups in reverse. There's somebody you know you need to leave alone because you are addicted to this person. They're addicted to you, but you lose all your fucking common sense dealing with this person. And they're not that reliable or trustworthy. They might be a hoe. I'm sorry. I try to get the good stuff, but it's not coming. Tell me about the nine of wands in reverse. Why is the nine of wands in reverse here? Five of wands in reverse. Okay, finally. I feel like eventually y'all gonna wake up and put an end to all of this shit. Like, y'all gonna be like, no, I'm tired of people taking advantage of me. I don't give a fuck. I'm not even gonna argue with you about it. Like, I said no. I'm trying to better myself. Like, it is what it is. Spirit, tell me. Give me something good for cancer. What is good coming to cancer? Give me something good for cancer. Seven of swords in reverse and the page of cups. Okay. Somebody might want to confess something to you. Somebody don't want to lie to you. Somebody um, don't want to be sneaky. Page of cups. Somebody might reveal their feelings to you. Somebody may send you a message. Tell me about the seven of swords in reverse and the page of cups. Four of pentacles in reverse. Y'all letting go of people that don't serve you anymore. Um, you have to have a conversation with somebody because somebody is draining your fucking pockets. And y'all are starting to feel it. Like y'all getting scared of like really like just being fucking broke. Tell me about the four pentacles in reverse. Death card. It's time for y'all to end something. And I feel like it has something to do with finances. Y'all, I don't know. Or just in a relationship altogether. I don't know. This reading was really fucking weird. So give me one final message for cancer for the good stuff coming in July. One final. King of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Y'all are supposed to be very successful. Y'all are supposed to be a leader. Y'all are somebody who inspires others, whether you know this or not. People look up to you, whether you know this or not. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, it's like you missing opportunities. You ain't serious about your ambitions. You ain't putting that work in to succeed. And like, I don't know. But also somebody may come to you like, like if this is a lever, like I don't want to argue anymore. Let's figure this out. Um, but that's what I have for you, Cancer. This, this, this reading was very weird. Very weird. If I had time, I would do y'all another reading because I don't know, that sounds too specific. How many do I have left? Cancer. Oh, Taurus and Aries. Let me hurry up. Somebody write Taurus, please. All right, 
be on. It is hot as shit. I'm gonna need you to cut that air on, please. And close these windows. Oh, uh, Gemini, fuck, I got three. I'm gonna have to come back, y'all, because I gotta read it at four o'clock. I'm gonna have to finish. Um, I probably could get through Taurus right now, but who is it? Gemini and Cancer. I mean, shit. Who do I need? Um, it should already be set. Yeah. Who is next? Gemini and Aries. Yeah, Gemini and Aries. I might have to um probably come back and do. Then when I come back, I might do another reading for Cancer. Gemini before Taurus. Wait, is it? Hold up. Oh, yeah. Somebody write Gemini. My bad. Somebody write Gemini. Sorry, y'all. So I have to come back and do Taurus and Aries. Somebody write Gemini. Spirit, what this stuff is coming to Gemini for the month of July? What? Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Gemini for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Gemini for the month of July? Two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Gemini for the month of July? Mm. Damn. All right. That's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. Um... reverse y'all already let go of burdens like you're not going to be feeling burdened by something anymore yeah y'all definitely almost had me to a source there's some sort of difficult decision y'all gonna have to make in the month of july um or somebody need to make a decision between you and somebody else strength card y'all may find the shrimp to either walk away from somebody or fix something with someone but y'all are going to get more serious about your career. Um, y'all going to become more disciplined, more focused, um, building up your self-confidence. Ten of Pentacles, you're about to have it all. Ten of Pentacles is the end all be all. You're going to have the career and the relationship. But most importantly, the career and finance. Six of Wands, some of y'all is supposed to be doing something on social media. So social media is going to be significant. So if y'all were trying to be a YouTuber, influencer, or something, keep posting because something's going to go viral. Some of y'all are meant to be famous. Um, some of y'all may meet somebody famous. Somebody may slide in your DM. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here? Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, if y'all were stuck about something, um, y'all not stuck anymore. Y'all are, are about to see things from a new perspective. So we're talking about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? World card. Yeah, there's some sort of difficult decision you need to make about your future. Um, but whatever it is, it doesn't matter what the fuck the decision is because the World card is a lot of good things coming to you. Success love, travel, um, feeling whole, even improving on your health. Tell me about the shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? King of Cups. Somebody really loves you and never going to stop loving you. Yeah, they may hold back their emotions, but they definitely love you. So we're talking about the Ten of Pentacles. Last. Five of Swords in Reverse. Some of y'all are sabotaging your own career, your own success. But with the five of swords in reverse, I feel like you're going to stop sabotaging. You're going to get up and do what the fuck needs to be done. So if it's posted on social media, you're going to post on social media. I don't know what it is, but y'all going to stop sabotaging. Um, Somebody also want to stop sabotaging a relationship with you. Tell me about the six of wands. What? Ace of cups. 
you already have that ideal relationship. Um, somebody wants to emotionally fulfill you. Somebody is coming in with a love offer. Like I said, for some of you, it could be somebody on social media or y'all might go on a date nap. I don't know. Spirit, tell me about this King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, you may find a room to walk away from somebody and then you got that new lover coming in. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Gemini's for the good stuff coming in July? Final likely outcome. Damn. Devil, five of ones, and a tower. What the fuck? There is supposed to be a shake up in your love life because there is somebody that you can't seem to let go of. There is someone that you feel has a hold on you. And this is somebody that's nine times out of ten a fucking hell. Okay? They be out here doing them. And they think that you sitting by the phone waiting for them to call or text. But the thing is, you're about to have options. You just have to welcome them in. Okay? Um, but something about to get shaken up. Tell me about this tower card. Why is the tower card here, spirit? Clarify the tower card. Two of cups in reverse. Y'all leaving somebody because y'all not happy with them. Or if this person feels bound to somebody else, they may leave because they unhappy with that other person. Tell me about the two of cups in reverse. Four ones. It's an unhappy home. Somebody ready to move out of a home. And you may reunite with somebody. I don't know. Tell me about the four ones. Seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody said, I don't want to lie. I don't want to play games. I want to fix this. I love you. Give me one final message for the good stuff that's coming to Gemini's. Three of cups in reverse. Tell me about the... Somebody is stalking y'all. Y'all got two people in y'all energies. Somebody is stalking y'all. Y'all don't even understand how they're stalking you. Um, this person could be drinking a lot or overindulging in something. And it may not be worth reconnecting with this person or continuing a relationship. It may be worth letting this new love in. Tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Clarify the three of cups in reverse. Magician. Somebody is manifesting you. Somebody is in. You turn the air on and put the windows down. Somebody is interested in you. Somebody is focused on you. Somebody is manifesting you. Um, you have a soulmate coming in, Gemini. So that's what I have for y'all. get one more in but I don't want my person to be mad at me because her reading is at four it's gonna be like a two minute read y'all I'm telling you right now I don't know why I felt the need to switch up the deck for y'all Rush it. Girl, because I got a reading, a personal reading to um, do. Somebody that paid. This is free. Spirit, what good stuff is coming to uh, Taurus for the month of July? Shit. Two more cards. What good stuff is coming for Taurus for the month of July? Damn, it's a lot of cards. Um, Higher fan. If y'all in a relationship, y'all may be taking it to the next level. Um, this is supposed to be a complicated read. I'm going to actually have to call y'all back. <laughs> What's somebody?
somebody said I'm a tourist. Um, I ain't no damn tourist. Um, I have a lot of fire in my chart, specifically Leo. All right, I'm gonna call y'all back because this is gonna be a long, a little bit longer. This is a little complicated. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's a little complicated. So, I'm gonna call y'all right back. Let me do this girl read. Oh, I got, fuck, I got four readings back to back. I'll be back on, or I'll do it off, and then I'll post it on YouTube. But tours and Aries will get done, I promise. Um, I promise it's gonna get done. I gotta call y'all back. Right, Taurus. Y'all thought I forgot. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna come back. Um, but somebody write Taurus, please. Thank you, Nicole. Three minutes spot on is so crazy. Thank you. No, I haven't done Aries yet. Yes, it's a um, continuation. Virgo girl, I don't even remember. I think Virgo reading was like, oh yeah, y'all reading was weird as fuck. And I tried to give y'all a second storyline, but it ended up being the same thing. So I just stopped. Um, thank you, Lauren. All right, let's go. Oh, it's been a long fucking day. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, what good stuff is coming to Taurus for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Taurus for the month of July? Thank you, Megan. Ooh. Is what you going on here? Because he's going to be mad if he's not on here. Um, what's, I don't even know how to pronounce his username. Booze something. So, I don't fucking know. Spirit, give me two more cards for Taurus. What good stuff is coming to Taurus for the month of... Okay. Yo, I'm tired. Um... Nine of Pentacles. The good stuff coming to y'all is money. A glow up. Um, I hope you be looking for me when you do cancer. Girl, I did cancer earlier and you were on here. Um, what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah. The good stuff coming to y'all is money. A glow up. Uh, some of y'all may start a business, get a new job or promotion. But y'all one pinnacle away from being at the Ten of Pentacles. So you're really about to have it all. And honestly, the Nine of Pentacles is like literally the same as the fucking Empress. The only difference is the Nine of Pentacles is single and the Empress is either married or like with, with her baby daddy or something like that. Um, some of y'all may be ready to get surgery to change your physical appearance or get in the gym. I don't know. Y'all about to do something that y'all about to be looking good and your money going to be doing good. And you're going to be feeling really confident. Then you got the best card in the deck, the Sun card. So, yeah, um, <sighs> Sun card is the most happiest and positive card in the deck. Um, 
y'all got abundance coming in, prosperity, happiness, relationships, reunions, like any happy thoughts you can think of describes the sun card. So yeah, y'all got a lot of good shit coming in. Some of y'all going to be doing some sort of healing, like Taurus, y'all got a lot, of, a lot of good shit coming in in July. Four cups. There's something that you're contemplating. If this is not you, then it's your person. Um, somebody may want to like say something to you, but they're just trying to find the right words. So it's like right now they're holding back until they figure out like, all right, how can I say this to them? I don't know if it's good or bad, but I feel like it's good. Um, then you have the King of Wands. King of Wands, this is a good man, Savannah. <clears throat> You have somebody in your energy that used to be a hoe back in the day, but now it's like they want to settle down. Um, they want to be a monogamous relationship. They want to have a family. They want to travel the world with you. Like, yeah. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Devil card. I told y'all, y'all gonna be looking real good. Your money gonna be doing good. And somebody is going to be addicted and obsessed with y'all. Somebody feel like they just can't leave you the fuck alone. Like, yeah. They feel like they can't leave you alone. Spirit, tell me about the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? Watch the perfect wife on Hulu. What is that? Four swords. What did I say? Some of y'all gonna get surgery. Some of y'all get y'all body done. Y'all gonna be he healing and recovering from that. Four swords. Some of y'all taking some time to yourself to like really figure shit out. Um, it's like y'all going in like almost like hermit mode in a sense. Um, I don't watch scary movies, Chanel. So if it's scary, I'm not gonna watch it. If I jump one time, I'm not. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm telling you right now, I don't do scary movies. Um, four swords. So it's like y'all taking some time to yourselves to like one. Y'all gonna heal whether that's from heartbreak, surgery, something. But you're trying to figure shit out because you're like, okay, I need to start planning for my future. And with the sun card, I do feel like y'all doing a lot of healing. Like, yeah, y'all already changed a lot of shit in your life. You think that'll be good for us to go into hermit mode? Yeah. Sometimes you need to go into hermit mode so you can do some self-reflection, so you can do some soul searching and come back a better person and more healed energy. Because even the sun card represents healing. So we're talking about the four cups. Why is the four cups here? Ten of cups and the four of wands in reverse. Somebody may come and tell y'all in the month of July like they're leaving somebody or they're moving out of a home or they're not happy with somebody or this could be y'all energy. Y'all may come to the realization that I don't want to be with this person no more. Like, I'd rather live by myself. I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be single right now. Because y'all got a lot of options coming in with that nine of um, pinnacles. Now, I will say this. Be careful not to get too caught up on all the attention that y'all going to start getting. Like, don't let that shit go to your head. Spirit, tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Seven of Swords in reverse. Whoever this King of Wands is, is like, I don't know, they're changing for the better. Um, they're like, I don't want to lie no more. I don't want to be sneaky. I don't want to be deceptive. And it's something they want to confess to you. Because remember, in the beginning, I said, with that Four of Cups, they're contemplating something. It's something they want to tell you, but they're trying to find the words. Seven of Swords in reverse, they want to confess something to you. Spirit, tell me about the seven of swords in reverse. What do they want to confess to Taurus? They want to confess that they feel like you're their soulmate. But for some of you, they may want to confess that they have somebody else, but it's not who they want. They may want to confess that they're leaving this other person. I don't know. They may want to confess that they've been lying to you the whole time about their relationship status. Or they may want to confess, like, I regret not choosing you. I regret, like, I hate the way you see me now. 
Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Upright and the Four of Wands in reverse, Spirit. Six of Pentacles. They want to start giving to you. They want to spoil you. Um, thank you, Brie. Um, some of y'all, the universe is actually about to be generous to you. You ready to get some sort of break? So we're talking about this devil card. Why is the devil card here? Temperance. Somebody is asking you to be patient with them. They're, they're trying to figure some shit out because they know they got to do a lot of healing as well. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Taurus for the good things coming to them in the month of Queen of Wands? Y'all got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. Y'all already be with your divine counterpart. Like, this is a person that's very ambitious, very loyal, very kind-hearted, freaky. <laughs> um, very beautiful. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? So it's always in reverse. If somebody was confused, they're not confused anymore. They're not indecisive anymore. Tell me about the two of swords in reverse. Not a one. Somebody is not giving up on you. Even though some of y'all may be one foot in and one foot out. But y'all didn't understand that y'all really resilient. So whatever y'all going through, um, y'all gonna be able to work through that. <clears throat> so something about the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands. Six of Cups. Somebody been heavily reminiscent about you. Somebody feels like you're their soulmate. Y'all may share. Um, Y'all may have a past life connection with this person. Y'all, I'm so tired. Um, for some of you, you could have kids with this person. Spirit, so give me one final message for Taurus for the good things coming to them. Full card, new beginnings. Y'all already make. Okay, listen. Y'all gonna look in the mirror and be like. No, I need to change this. I need to change that. And y'all going to do it. Y'all going to take action on it. Y'all betting on yourself. Y'all not waiting for somebody to see your worth because you're ready to start to see your worth. But somebody do want you to take a chance on them. Some of y'all may be ready to travel. Tell me about the fool card. Why is the fool card here? Star in reverse. <clears throat> Whoever this is that's asking you to take a chance on them, you're like, no. Like, I don't believe you. Like, I lost hope in this. Like, you said this all, you said this before. And it didn't go nowhere. So you like, I don't believe you. Tell me about the star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse here? Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, and Ace of Pentacles. Damn, y'all got new love coming in. You may meet this person while traveling. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but this person going to have money. They're going to be very successful. And it makes it all very passionate. Y'all might fuck them right away. Maybe first night. Maybe first date. I don't know. But you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. You could travel the world with this person. Um, Spirit, tell me about this new love for Taurus. Tell me about this new lover for Taurus. Tell me about this new lover for Taurus. Moon card, five of ones, nine of cups. They're going to have a lot of feelings for you, and it's going to kind of scare them, so they're going to try to hold back. Um, But it's like they look at you like you're their wish fulfillment. But y'all going to have more than one option, though. But they're going to be like, no, I'm the better option. Like, don't play with me. I love that. Tell me about the moon card, five of ones, and the nine of cups. Ace of cup. Damn. That's three aces. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, and now you got the ace of cups. Oh, this is going to be a good love. Yeah, y'all got a lot of new beginnings coming in. Also, some of y'all already transitioned into a new way of making money. Um, five of wands. Y'all don't even know this, but y'all got a lot of people that you don't even know waiting to book your services, waiting to buy whatever it is that you are offering. Empress. Some of y'all going to be a wife or y'all going to make a wife out of somebody. Some of y'all going to get pregnant or get somebody pregnant. Ooh, I love this reading, Taurus. I love this for y'all. Anywho, that's what I have for y'all. That was probably one of the best readings. I may, I don't know 
yeah, but I may do cancer over because y'all reading was really fucking crazy. So I may do y'all reading over. I don't know yet. I'm a little tired. I've been tired all day. It's been a long day. Oh, y'all want to know something? Remember the other day when I said I watched the new Bad Boys Part 4? Y'all, why didn't why it wasn't a new Bad Boys? Why? The fuck do you mean am I pregnant? Why would I be pregnant? Bitch, what you trying to say I'm fat? Anywho, remember when I said I watched the new Bad Boys? Y'all, why was Part 3 and it wasn't a new Bad Boys? Oh my god, yes, because I've been drinking wine since everything. You stress me out. <laughs> um, I don't know why I thought it. So then, as of my phobia that I rented it, so I was like, you could watch it just go on my profile because I rented it. It's good for 48 hours. So he watched it. He's like, wait a minute. I've seen this. So he called me like, what, you didn't watch all the Bad Boys series? And I said, yeah, I've seen every single one. He was like, well, you didn't know that she was watching three. He was like, four, not even out yet. They somehow you could pre-order it. Child, the whole time I thought I was watching a new one. I never even realized that I seen that one before. No, because you said you've been tired all day. Girl, because I've been working all day. I've been up since five this morning doing readings. Private readings are booked on my website. You can click the link in my bio. I was watching three the whole time and I seen it, but I just didn't remember it. And then y'all so slow because I was like, y'all know um, Mike Lurie got another child and y'all like, oh, they said that on the last one, but y'all never was like, girl, that is part three. That's not part four. That's why you was talking about the sign. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really slow. Somebody write Aries, please. No, Mike does have a child, but that was in part three. I don't even know what part four about. And then my son was like, part four was so funny. So when I told him I watched it, I was like, it was not that funny. He was like, well, it was funny to me. That's because I was watching the wrong one. If y'all don't stop writing Sagittarius and write Aries. I feel so slow. Why, girl, why, who, whoever you are, why do you keep writing Sagittarius? Like, stop it. Guys, I'm going backwards. And like I said, I may do cancer and I think maybe Virgo over. I think that's who it was. I don't know. Or I might just do all elements. After this, I think I'm going to do all elements. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to hang up because I got to add this into the one early. I got to edit them together. And then I think I'm going to hang up. And I might just come on here and do all the elements. Because I ain't do that in a minute. And I missed that. Unless y'all already go to bed. Because there's not that many people on here. Like, why y'all not rocking with me all of a sudden, bitch? That's when I'm ready to stop doing these all signs. all the elements you look you like the elements y'all i need to manifest a new office building like i really need to start start scripting that because i want to move my office so bad and I just can't seem to find a fucking office. Is there any realtors on here in the Maryland area, the Baltimore area? Because I need help, like, real bad. Somebody can make that happen to, for me. I would love y'all for life. Hey, my girl work and my little baby girl been keeping me busy. She made eight months on the first. She going to be one on Halloween. Okay, thanks. You are realizing in Reno, bitch. I don't live in Reno. The fuck? <laughs> like, y'all are crazy. What is that going to do for me? My office is not in Reno, bitch. I don't even know what that's at. What is that, Vegas? Oh, 
you can find one in Maryland. Oh, that's what I get for being smart. All right, girl, find me one. I need a commercial realtor. All right, come on. So what the stuff is coming to Aries for the month of July? Give me three more cards. What good stuff is coming to Aries for the month of July? Two more cards. What good stuff is coming to Aries for the month of July? What good stuff is coming to Aries for the month of July? One more card. What good stuff is coming to Aries for the month of July? Hey, Aries. Um... Not don't look like I know my face expression be so ugly. Like, why would I do all of that? Um, fully reverse. Like, y'all are resisting to make some sort of change that you know that you need to make in your life. And if it's not you, then it's your person. But I feel like it's y'all because this is y'all energy. Aries and Aquarius is the full card. Um, y'all are really resisting making some sort of change that you know that you need to make. Um, Double card. It may be you resisting to let somebody go that you know that you're in a toxic situation with. But you are addicted and obsessed with this person and they probably are addicted and obsessed with you. Temperance card. It's like you want to reconcile with this person, but they like, listen, just be patient. I got to work on myself and y'all got to work on yourself too. That's why this devil is showing up. Um, somebody could be battling some sort of addiction. But with the King of Swords in reverse... Somebody is tired of being cold and detached. Somebody want to be in a relationship with you. But you need to figure out why all of a sudden they want to be in a relationship with you. Like, what change? Spirit, tell me about the fool in reverse. Why is the fool in reverse here? Spirit, clarify the fool in reverse. High breezes in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. Okay, here's the thing. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's somebody that y'all broke up with or they broke up with you, okay? Shit was happening. Y'all weren't really that happy anymore. I don't know if it's your ego that makes you want this fucking person or if it's sex. I don't know what it is. But something happened, y'all broke up. But it's like you really want them back and they're going to come back. They're going to come back. But with, and with the high reasons in reverse, reverse, the thing is you're not going to listen to your intuition. You're going to ignore all the red flags. And you want to fuck them. So you might be addicted to the sex. Like, you really want to fuck them. Hmm. Shameful. Spirit, tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Why is he texting me? He always texts me while I'm on live. Now, why should he fucking call my phone? Devil card is clarified by the center cups in reverse. So listen, this is somebody that you thought you were going to have your happily ever after with. Y'all was going to be a family, a blended family, whatever. But it didn't quite work out for whatever reason. They could have been bound to someone else or something else. I don't know. So I feel like y'all broke up with this person. Spirit, tell me about the temperance card. You remind me of the beautiful arm from East by you, but Eve too. Excuse me. That is one of my favorite. Mm -mm, I'm spitting. That is one of my favorite movies. And she was gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, that is such a compliment. Because when I was little, I used to be like, that lady is so fucking gorgeous. And I used to love her hair. And she used to make me want to wear my natural curls. Oh, my God. I did tours and I asked them, were you on here? And it was the best reading probably from out of all 12 signs. But I'll post it on YouTube tomorrow. Anywho, um, temperance is clarified by the page of swords. Y'all just be hyping me up. <laughs> Um, somebody is keeping tabs on y'all. Um, but also, okay, listen, if you were thinking about starting something, do it like a podcast, uh, I don't fucking know, right? But whatever you want to start, just go ahead and start it. Start doing research on something and take action because it will be successful. But somebody is really keeping tabs on you. I'm just letting you know. Um, Spirit, tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. 
Why is it? King? And it's probably an air sign, more than likely. And King of Swords is the biggest stalker out of all the kings. I'm letting you know right now. That is the king that will stalk the fuck out of you. And you won't even know it. Uh, judgment in the reverse. Whoever this King of Swords is wants y'all forgiveness. Um, yeah, they really want y'all forgiveness. I don't know what they did to you. Let me see. So there's something about the judgment in reverse. Why is the judgment in reverse here? Magician. They're manifesting you. They're so interested in you. They're so focused on you. They feel like you're their soulmate. Sun card. There is about to be a positive shift in this connection or just in your life in general. you got a lot of good things about to come to you, even if it doesn't feel like it. So there's something about this in the cups in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot in reverse here, Spirit? Higher fin. If something was stagnant between you and somebody, I feel like it's going to move forward. Spirit, tell me about this high priestess in reverse. Oh, shit. Pregnancy is beautiful also. Girl, what you trying to get pregnant? Spirit, tell me about the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, y'all in y'all head about whoever this fucking King of Cups is. Because y'all know y'all need to listen to y'all intuition. Because y'all know this person ain't shit. But you don't want to listen to your intuition. You want them to blow your fucking back out. Okay? You want them to tell you lies, pacify you, and you want to take them back. Thank you, Megan, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Spirit, so, what is the final likely outcome for Aries for the good things coming to them in July? Final likely outcome for Aries for the good things coming to them in July. Six of Pentacles in reverse. If somebody was holding back from you because they feel like they couldn't leave somebody else because of something with finances, they don't want to hold back anymore. So there's something about the Six of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands. Okay, that's a good man. Y'all might got more than one option. Oh, wait, no, that's actually y'all energy. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Clarify the King of Wands. Death and reverse. Yeah, y'all don't want it to be over between you and someone. Somebody's coming back or you're going back to somebody. Tell me about the death and reverse. Ooh, my hand itching. Either I'm ready to get money or somebody else to give y'all money. <laughs> Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reunite with you. They miss y'all friendship. They miss being around you. They miss laughing with you. I heard they miss your smile. Oh, and I'm here. did it, do 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 Y'all know how that song go. Um, so yeah. Y'all gonna reunite with somebody. Tell me about the three of cups. Ooh, six of wands. My favorite card. Victory and success. Some of y'all gonna go viral on social media. Somebody's gonna start showing you more attention. Somebody gonna place you on a pedestal. You may even meet somebody else. Somebody better. Somebody with them coins. Somebody about, ooh. And, I, and my right hand is itching. Yeah, some of y'all gonna meet somebody with some money, somebody of high status. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's what I have for you, Aries. Things are gonna work out for you. severely dehydrated it's so weird all right so this is what i'm gonna do if y'all gonna come back on here even though there's really nobody on here which is so weird um y'all must don't like me doing all signs so i'm ready to go back to the elements so i'm gonna come back on here and do the elements because the fuck i'm not doing nothing so i'm gonna hang up so i could save this and edit this and merge this into the video from earlier so i can post it and then yeah i'm gonna come back on here and do all signs i mean elements okay so i'll be right back